Good afternoon, Rashida, and I will be your conference operator today. At this time, I would like to welcome everyone to the Vista Tools for Social Media. All these have been placed on mute to prevent any background noise. After speaker's remarks, there will be a question and answer session. If you need to ask a question during this time, simply press star, then the number one on your telephone keypad. If you want to draw your question, press the pound key. Thank you. Ms. Kinnear, you may begin your conference. Thank you, everyone. This is Suzanne, and I want to thank you for attending today's Social Media Monday, The Work, Vista Tools for Social Media. Uh, my name is Suzanne, and I'm with Campaign Consultation, and I will be um, facilitating this call. Uh, before we get started, I do want to let everyone know that if for some reason you were to lose your Internet connection or your phone connection, to simply call back in or uh, log back in as you did originally, and you will automatically be re-entered into the event. You can just pick up where we left off. And before we get started, I do want to let everyone know that this call is being recorded and will be available on the Vista Campus Social Media Monday landing page and that any links used during this web shot will be made available at the end of the presentation. I'll turn it over to Michelle Bond, Product Manager for Camping Consultation, who will introduce today's presenters. Um, Suzanne, and hello everyone and welcome. Um, with us today is um, Elizabeth Matthews from the Corporation for National and Community Service. Um, who does work with the Vista Alliance Outreach, and also Danielle Ricks, who is our social media specialist here at Campaign Consultation. And um, I see a lot of new names out there, so I'm really excited to have you all with us today. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, um, or, or it's been a while, um, this is Social Media Monday, a series of web shops that occur um, every other month, and really aim to provide you um, members, alums, and community members as well um, with tools for using social media platforms, um, how to use them strategically, particularly um, to create social change as VISTAs and um, to better enhance uh, your assignment and the work that you're trying to do. Um, whenever possible, we have VISTAs um, as well as alums or technology experts um, in these areas. And today we're going to be going um, deep into um, some of the tools that were created just for VISTA regarding social media. So thank you again for joining us. And um, to get started, there's a poll that's open there on the bottom right-hand portion of your screen. So if you would, just take a few moments to answer those, um, and that'll help guide some of the topics that we cover today. Great, Michelle, and thanks again, everyone, for joining us. It's so wonderful to see some new names in there, and we're hoping that we'll be able to um, help navigate your way through social media and marketing and communications and show you some resources that we have on the VISTA campus for you. So our agenda for today, we're going to go over the VISTA campus and go really deep. It's a very big place, and we, so we want to make sure that we can uh, take apart some big chunks as it relates to social media, communications, and marketing. We'll start with the work, however, and that's how we're going to get to most of the sections, and then communications and marketing, social media, using online tools, improving your communication skills, and we'll make sure that we leave time for questions and answers. But throughout the web shop, you should be able to see a chat once you're done the poll on the right-hand side, and you can go ahead and ask us questions throughout, and we may have to save some towards the end if there are a lot, but we'll be we'll get to as many as we possibly can today. So we want um, getting started and how you get started, uh, and we can advance the slide. <coughs> and determine your communication needs and goals. That's the very first thing when you're thinking about how do I start with my social media. You want to first ask yourself why are you starting with social media? Why do you want to jump into the pool? Um, it's a great way to communicate very quickly and effectively and inexpensively, but you want to determine what your goals are before you get started. So is it that you want to promote your project? Do you want to get the word about a particular event? Uh, that you're trying to gain recognition for your organization. All of these things are conversations that you want to have with yourself before you decide that you want to jump out there. And how you answer these questions will then determine how you move forward. Now, Michelle is going to talk to us a little bit about accessing the VISTA campus to help answer these questions. Yes, thank you. Um, many of you probably have at least heard of the VISTA campus, we hope. Um, and for those of you who are new, um, I'm sure it was touched on in PSO. And we offer opportunities um, throughout your service term to really 
go a bit deeper. And so um, the first thing is to, if you haven't established a campus account, um, you do that. It's very, very simple, um, and you can do it as soon as you um, enter the VISTA section of the campus. Um, while you can access a lot of the information available there um, via guest login, we do recommend setting up an account so that you can uh, fully explore everything on the campus, participate in the forums, um, fill out your profile, so it really enhances your um, experience there. But if you're just curious, um, go ahead and log in as a guest, and it'll di direct you to the page that you're looking for. Um, and so we're going to go a little bit deeper um, into specific resources, um, and I'll let Danielle touch a little bit about some ways you can explore. So um, one of the things that I always recommend to people is when they start going on the campus, because it's a very big place, is that you bookmark some of your favorite places. Um, the first thing, actually, is to, to just go and, and poke around and, and see what you can see. And when you find something that you really like, you want to come back to it, bookmark it. That way you can get back to it rather quickly. Um, and it's a good idea to uh, start sort of familiarize yourself with how the campus is designed. It starts with a very big overall chunk, and then you'll go a little bit deeper. You'll click on something, and that'll take you to a small box. And then you'll click on something, and that'll take you to a small box. And then you'll click on something, and that'll take you to a small box. So you can go as deep as you want. But one of my recommendations is that you set aside a time, set aside time for yourself to explore the campus, and actually even review with the leader, maybe even your supervisor, so that they understand that part of your part of your day may be looking for tools that you can use in your service, and you can find them on the Vista campus. Once you look around and identify some key pieces of information that you want to try out, um, gather them, take a look at, as Danielle said, um, you know, bookmarking pages is a great way to go back to something that you were interested in. Um, you can also use the search function or the campus catalog, and we'll point these out when we're on the page in just a second. Um, but you know, gather them and identify really um, what are you trying to do, what's in your VAD, um, what are the goals for the particular project that you're working on or the piece of the project, and then identify what's going to help you um, get there and, and start to take it just one chunk at a time. Um, and we'll walk through how to do that. And then finally, once you have determined your communication needs and goals, you've visited the campus, you've found out what tools and resources are going to work for you, then you're going to sit down and develop a social media plan. Uh, everyone needs to have some idea of what they're going to do. We're going to tweet X amount of times. We're going to do X amount of Facebook posts. We're going to go to YouTube, and we're going to upload videos. We have lots of pictures, so we want to make sure that we use Flickr. You probably don't want to do all four at the same time. You probably want to concentrate on one or two, but having a plan will help. And we'll talk to you more about that as we go through the workshop. I understand from Suzanne that the results are ready from the poll. Here, um, it, it looks like that um, most people in their role as a VISTA are concentrating on social media outreach, uh, closely followed by improving communications and marketing. And that, let's see, uh, most of you have visited the, uh, the VISTA campus, which is wonderful news, and that um, most of you are not using uh, the social media tools on the VISTA campus, but I'm pretty sure that's going to change by the end of the day. That's right. Um, and let's see, the things that you're doing to uh, use social media to include, uh, well, a lot of stuff, um, make the, uh, the forms of Internet communications and um, web tools as well as uh, mobilize people around issues. Um, looks like things. Looks like you're trying to do everything, which is great, and we're going to be able to help you with that. That's right. That's not for you then, you guys. We're going to show you some resources and some tools that are going to help you get going. Um, Michelle is going to get us started with a live tour of the campus, and she's going to talk to us about how we can get to the section that you see on your screen now, which is the work, which will then lead you to communications and marketing. You don't? I'm just going to share my desktop here in a moment. And um, while we're waiting for that, I just want to also, um, you can see in the screenshot ahead here, that um, there are three main sections of the campus, and the one that we'll be diving into today is under the work. 
But um, Life as a Vista is also a section where you can find some nuts and bolts information about your Vista service. Um, and then connecting with Vistas, um, the other area where you, you can use um, campus forums, access the view for, um, use the Vista map, and really kind of get to know the Vista community a little bit better. And get to this page um, quickly. At the end, there are going to be useful links for you that we'll be providing within the chat. And so if you, you want to again, if you want to get to that page very quickly, that link will be provided for you so that you can access it quickly. Great. So can you see my desktop now? We can see it. All right. Um, and so uh, where we are now is the VISTA landing page. So if you were to log into the campus um, and click on the V symbol up here on the left-hand side, um, from where it will take you to this page. And this is the landing page for the VISTA area. And as I just um, mentioned briefly, there are three main sections, Life is a VISTA, the work, and Act with VISTAs. And so Many of the, um, the further training materials, really the, the information that can help give you the skills that you need to, to complete um, your ad and to go through your service year are going to be in this area of the work. Um, this probably looks familiar to many of you now. Um, so work, um, where we're going to spend most of our time today is in this communications and marketing um, cubbyhole here. You can see there are lots of other topics. Um, with different subcategories of information. Um, we really do invite you to take a look around. Um, there are a lot of things that are cross-referenced um, because obviously we know that um, something like building partnerships is going to be useful to you regardless of the area of your service. Um, but for today, we're going to spend all our time in communications and marketing and really packing um, the piece of communities that can help you with social media. Right. We thought before we got to social media, we wanted to go ahead and talk about communications and marketing because actually when you use social media, that's what you're doing. You're marketing and you're communicating, doing it online, but it is still a marketing tool. So um, Michelle is going to drive while I talk. That's what we call it when she writes. She's going to drive while I talk. So one of the um, fish chunks is um, – we communicating and marketing, and now we want to talk about improving communication. So if you click on that box, and this is when we talk about getting deeper into the campus. So we've, we're going to drill down a little bit more. So this is improving your skills. We can't talk about what you're going to do in CF, we, but we're talking about having good communication skills. Um, and so this whole section walks you through different ways on improving your communication skills. Some of these are courses, and they're in Flash. Other are HTML files, and the others are simply a BF. And I know, could we click on the communicating with stakeholders? And this is a really great one to learn how to cultivate relationships with key people and that have an opportunity to have input into your project. So these are different pieces of the campus, this PDF, where you can download it and you can um, head on to share with yourself. You can use it as a checklist. Um, this is great information across the board for you to start thinking about a particular project and how you're going to communicate about this project. Now, typically when we think about communications, we think about advertising, we think about um, email campaigns, we think about mailers, but all of this information is good for you to have for social media as well. So the, when we talk about drilling down, this is what we mean. We took a big chunk and then we went a little bit deeper and we went a little bit deeper as well. If we Come up and then on the left hand side, you want to where you started and you saw that there were four boxes. You would go back to communicating and marketing. You would click on the left hand side of communicating and marketing, just did improving communication skills. And we know that there are some other four, there are three other chunks in that particular bento box, if you will. The next one is marketing and tell your story to many um, audiences. And that where social media comes into play a great deal. In this particular section, they're going to talk about um, you have your course, your flash course, business world travel kit. You have a course in building your case for support, which we often have to do when we're trying to build a case for social media. And this will help you with that. Again, communicating with stakeholders. And so sometimes you'll see some things repeated that cross-pollinate uh, cross-sections. And then the principle of a powerful presentation. 
and of the VISTA forums, which we'll also see in many of these as we drill down in many of these places for you to go and talk and ask questions. We come back out one more time. There are other sections we'd like to draw your attention to. And all of these courses are downloadable. The um, PDF files are downloadable. Um, one of these working, um, if we come back out and then you'll see working with the media. And they have sample tips and tools to engage the media and then using social media, um, maximizing your time online. Uh, Michelle, I think, is going to talk to us a little bit about this section. We're going to get into um, the e-organizer, correct? Absolutely. So, um, as Danielle said, um, you know, each of these is kind of a ready-made um, of resources. You can, um, you know, dive deeper. But these are some of the ones that are recommended, and they are offered here by um, kind of order and hierarchy. And so, obviously, working with the media. Um, communicating with news media is key to that. Um, and the e-organizer, as Danielle mentioned, is a space tool, has, has a ton of information um, when it comes to organizing via the web. And um, as we know, things change so quickly that it's kind of hard to keep up. But um, the, the biggest thing that I think this tool offers is the way it is is in fact organized. So um, as you see in front of you, um, you've got tabs on the left and the right side of this resource. And um, browse categories, which kind of gives you an overlay of what each of these tools includes. And so you can see from building a sense of community all the way down through volunteers, these are the pieces that will help organize um, people, groups, um, you know, but especially at a distance. And then as we go deeper into each of these areas, it gives a list of forms and resources available on the web that can help you to organize, in this case, volunteers. Um, I just want to stop for a minute. If you look under um, number one, it's social networking sites. And if you clicked on that, it would take you to various sites. And also, and these are various tips and how to create a network based on interest, cause, geographic location. Lots of great tips. And um, some different places to visit. Now, social media is changing all the time. That list will grow um, I'm bound all the time. But it's a great start. And so I just wanted you to know that these, every time you see a color, these are hot links, and they will take you um, someplace that we're talking about. You'll also see under communications, we're all used to listservs and conference calls. Google calendars are great to have, but as you click on them, the more information is going to be made available. You could spend a great deal of time on this course. It's valuable, valuable information, and it's it's just made wonderful for the VISTAs and what you all are doing for your in national service. Absolutely, and and you probably um, saw, but basically the idea is that for each of the category areas, there's a little bit of a description, as we're looking at here for fundraising, as to how this um, tactic is useful in organizing, um, particularly at a distance. And then, as Danielle said, it'll take you into the different sh um, ways to do that and also the different um, platforms. And then each one of those has a similar breakdown, you know, what cost, um, in many of the cases, um, uh, the, these are free tools, um, what do you need to use it, the base uses, and, you know, so just to get started, jump over to the, the site. Some of these include um, further how-to, you know, step-by-step -step tips. Um, others just take you right to that particular tool. The other way that you can use this resource is just to go to the index. So say you've heard of a particular thing, um, blogs, for lack of a better example here. Uh, well, I heard about blogging. I know what blogging is. How do I explain it to somebody really quickly? Um, and this gives you that similar breakdown. What does it cost? What do you need to use it? Um, uh, what kind of equipment do you need to use it? What are the ways you can use it? And then, you know, what are some um, suggested um, sites and um, examples of them? One for podcasting, correct? We're, so, yeah. we're going to be doing a um, web shop coming up on podcasting. And if you can't wait for that, you can go to the e-organizer. And here's some great information on how to start a podcast. And this is all part of social media. If you want to record uh, things um, for your organization, your event, your project, podcasting is a great way to go. And here are some tips on how you can get started. Right. As you said, um, under the 
step by step here. There are a couple of great articles, um, how to videos, and things like that. So the level of information varies by um, you know the tool, but what we tried to do was in a uniform way um, lay out as much as possible. And um, as I said at the beginning, kind of a good rule of thumb when you're when you're doing this work in your community is to think about um, these eight elements because um, chances are something that you're doing falls into one of these categories and also um, then by some of the things that are presented can help you think through how you might go about accomplishing it. Do you want me to click on in here at the moment, Danielle? No, I think we're, I think we're ready to go over to that other big chunk, um, which was social under using social media. Yes. And I just want to point out for a second while I'm here that there are lots of ways to get back. You, you can continue to go back to the communications and marketing um, you know, main it has those four subcategories. If you want to just go back to where you were, there's um, you know, the broom trail that takes you to the last place that you visited. I like that, the breadcrumb bre trail. Bre I like that. <laughs> the bucket is um, using social media and maximizing the online tools. The shelter showed you the e-organizer with some great information for you there. And if you come on down, there's our Social Media Monday, which you all are participating in right now. And we have set up a course page for Social Media Monday, and it will, if you come back to this, we hope that you bookmark this page, if you book another. And when you come back here, it will let you know what the upcoming sessions are. There's a hot link to register for that. It will also give you the archive, which um, will let you see all of the Social Media Monday web shops that we've done from the very beginning, the archives from 2009, the archives from 2010, and it will have a list of the different web shops that we've done all on social media and social media tools. And what I will say is that social media has changed. Um, the basic information is there, but it has changed. So you will see that we've repeated a couple of them, uh, Twitter being one, Facebook being another, because no sooner do we get the web shop up than they're making a change on us. Mm -hmm. But the basic information is there. And just about anything that you want to uh, learn in terms of social media, particularly for um, those of you who are VISTAs, those of you who are in national service, these are geared towards you all today. You're using social media effectively uh, in your service and with your organization. And as we produce web shops, they get uploaded, and you can actually um, click on them to hear the web shop that we're recording now in its entirety. And you can also download the PDF. So if you wanted to share this web shop with someone else, if you wanted to repackage it and use it on your own as you present to other people, you can download the PDF of the web shop or play the video, either one that works for you. And know that this particular web shop that you're in right now will be available in about Suzanne, two to three weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Now again, and Michelle is going to talk, take us to marketing for your program online. And then we want to also after that show again the Vista forum. Super, um, and that's really a fantastic resource. I, I just can't show enough the archives. Um, you know, we don't expect that you've got the time to necessarily sit through the entire presentation in a recording, but. You know, you can play, you can fast forward, you can look at the slides, as Danielle said, um, you know, to a couple of VISTAs last week who were saying, you know, like many of you, well, now I'm tasked specifically with doing social media outreach, and, you know, I'm having a hard time finding tools to help me maybe do the work or explain some of that work. And I think that that's um, uh, some of the having all that information in one place. Um, similarly, the VISTA social media guide um, self, um, sorry, just give me a second here. Um, designed, and you know, this is October 2008, so um, they do change in the social social media world. But this um, was a was a document that was actually created by Vista with the intention of really kind of laying out um, the landscape of social media at the time, um, some of the main sites, but then also, you know. From a from the perspective of getting buy-in at your site, what's some helpful information to know and and put it together in sort of this manual format? So um, I think you know this is a resource 
course, to to use particularly um, with new volunteers or to use with your supervisor as you're trying to explain some of the work that you're doing. Um, it, it's just a nice way to have kind of a, a um, universal set of terms, I guess. Right. If you could, I just wanted to draw your attention to one paragraph here because I think it is so poignant, and that is that social media, um, or media as it's often called, is not new to many of us. Uh, we we we're doing social media all the time, and we don't, don't really know it. And I think this particular page right here, just the social media one on one, and just getting your grasp of well, what is it, um, is a great way to about how you're going to use social media and what is and what is new media, what is social media. Social media tends to be wing interactive two way conversation. So if I just put photos up and I don't want anyone to comment on them, that's more new media. If I put up on Flickr and I allow people to create group polls or to uh, groups to be able to comment on my photos, to be able to comment back, I don't social element to it and therefore it's social media. The same thing with your video channel. You could have a video channel that has one-way communications and people are just watching. Or you create a YouTube channel or a Vimeo channel where people are able to comment back and forth. And that adds the social element to it. Um, the thing with your Facebook pages. Are your Facebook pages going to be open so that people can have two-way conversations in which it becomes social? Or is it, are you simply going to use it to push information out, in which case we would call that that new media. So just to get your um your 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 realm, the different terms and what different things mean, I think that it means, I think this is a great guide. Um some of the things have changed in terms of the technical lens of how do you log on to Facebook, how do you log on to Twitter and not many of us are using Facebook anymore. But the basic information in terms of um terms MySpace, you mean. MySpace sorry, MySpace, we're not using MySpace anymore. Uh, these basic terms are really the same, and if you could familiarize yourself with them, it's a great start for you guys who are charged with social media outreach. I think in some ways this is kind of like the text guide to perhaps something like the e-organizer, right. which is a different format, but it's trying to do the same thing, you know, explain what's there, but then just um, you know, empower you to get in there and use it. Right. Many may not know what an RSS feed is um, or what RSS stood for. So these are the kind of terms that will, and widgets, what are widgets? These are the kind of things that will, that you'll hear over and over again with those of us in social media, new media, and to familiarize yourself with these terms will really give you a look up as you're doing your uh, social media outreach. Great. And then um, under using social media, there's another um, PDF that can be used as sort of a basic guide for marketing your pro online. Um, and, and you've seen a few of these in here, um, just to show the uh, variance in these resources, you know, something like this, which you can print, and grab, or, or, you know, just look up quickly on your mobile device um, and use it. And then other things which, you know, you want to spend some time with um, at your desk if you have it to, to buzz around and see what you might be able to use, download worksheets, tip sheets, um, and really make them work for your particular site. about your um, social media plan, this is a great document as well to help you think about what is going to go into your plan. I think that's, that's a good point. A lot of what we've gone today is just really an attempt to say, you know, there's so much on here. Take a look around and then gather those tools and see what works for you because you, this is just the first step. Right. And finally, on this page, in this particular section, there's the VISTA forums. And when all else fails and you get lost, <laughs> this is a place for you to go to ask your other vistas. I tried using Flickr, my video campaign, and it didn't work. What went wrong? And uh, you're there to help and watch and answer. Your other vistas are there to help and watch and answer. Uh, alumni who may or may not have tried, leaders are there. It's a great place for you to come and talk amongst yourselves about what did and did not work. We also We'll pose a question prior to the next Social Media Monday website to try to get the conversation going to see what you're interested in and then to bring those questions back to the um, web shop. But this is really your place for you to talk and to um, build relationships and we that you'll use it as a way to support what you're doing in your project as you're moving forward with your social media.
Yeah, if you do have specific questions related to social media, the easiest way to um, you know, get those answered is to come back to the Social Media Monday page and access can continue the conversation. Um, that's a forum that's specifically dedicated to social media, but um, obviously you can always post something in the vCafe and um, get an answer pretty quickly there as well. Any transition um, back to the slides, I'm just wondering if anybody has any questions while I've still got the page up live and everything. Ladies and at this time, I would like to give by mind everyone, if you'd like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. Ma'am, you have time? Okay, thank you. Um, so right now we're going to go back to the slides and have an opportunity to speak a little bit with um, Liz Matthews, who is um, our right-hand person at VISTA, about some of the work we've done um, to get using social media for VISTA. Great. Thanks, Michelle. Hi, everyone. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us. Hopefully, the fact that you're on this call and you're doing social media for your as part of your VISTA assignment, that's a good thing. I mean, it's hopefully for you, and um, as you learn more, hopefully you can um, understand how it can benefit um, your agency, the sponsor that you're volunteering for um, even more. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to just emphasize we think it's important. I think a great recent example is last week um, we were in New Orleans for the National Conference on Volunteering and Service. If anybody uh, who's on the call happened to be there, you can raise your hand. Um, <laughs> but it was a great example of how we used so many different types of social media to have a presence at the conference. So, for example, <clears throat> we had um, this coffee house, which was more old school, actual, in person, and people could come in and get a cup of coffee. But from there, we did live tweeting sessions. Um, we used flip cameras to videotape um, both alums and currently serving members and put those videos up on our YouTube channel. Um, before the conference, we were hyping up the, the coffee house and encouraging um, VISTAs who happened to live in New Orleans who were going to be attending the conference to, to join us. And um, it's just a way on Facebook to post those types of announcements and I'm also starting to post more and more job opportunities, so as you get ready to plan your next steps, you can keep it on Facebook, and there's also a job board forum on the campus. Um, and then we even had a meetup um, in in uh, New Orleans as well during the, during the week. Um, so I, I think the way that we're presenting this information today hopefully will also leave you with the um, impression that the, the campus, the VISTA campus is really our online hub for all things VISTA. And utilize this resource. There's so much there, as you can tell, probably a little overwhelming right now. But we'd appreciate it if you all can help us spread the word. And as you discover resources, tell other VISTAs that you're in touch with, um, different resources that you've discovered on the campus. And hopefully it will be helpful and make your year um, more productive and um, satisfying for you. So thank you so much, and I'll turn back over. Thanks, Liz. That's that's really um, helpful. And um, yeah, some really great things um, that we've been doing also really helping us to go um, this is better. And I think that's the point is that two-way engagement. Um, and that Danielle, to take a moment to highlight some of these um, pieces that we've got in front of us here. Right? Yeah. I I, I think if we can um, go over to our YouTube page, I think Suzanne is uh, working on pulling that. Uh, one of the things, and we've, we've done a whole web shop on video blogging, um, and, and one of the things that you can do very quickly, if we go over to the playlist, and, and yeah, click on playlist. And one of the things, we want to go to the Vista at NCVS, if it's easier to click. There, yeah. Um, and one of the things that you can click
quickly get your message out, particularly at a conference or at an event, is to take your smartphone or a flip camera and just do some quick down and dirty um, interviews. And if we can go down to the Vista Coffee House, this is a leader we met in the coffee house, and we wanted to talk to her. We just asked her one simple question. Mm -hmm. We just asked her one simple question, and it's not very long. And we immediately then took that and put it up on our Facebook page. And I think within moments, we got seven likes. And it's a way to include and engage your entire audience who's not with you. Because the people who were at the conference, obviously, came by the coffee house, we hope, in a great time. But you want to be able to reach out to the people who weren't. And so you'll see this list on the side, and these are all the videos that we took while we were at NCVS. And this is the outreach. This is a way for us to engage people who weren't there and to capture the moment so that we can remember what we did while we were there and who we spoke to. And I want to encourage everyone to go ahead and use um, the devices that they have to video blog. But we also uploaded pi pictures to Flickr, and we fed those to Twitter and to Facebook as well. And Liz mentioned the Meetup, which is another way with media meetup.com, which is another way to engage people in real life. And so we were really effective, and I think in terms of um, the way our social media there, and also how we reached back to the people who weren't there. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the thing that I would add, both for NCVS but also in general, and Liz touched on this, is is that you know this is probably the most well, it is. I mean, the best way to get um, you know daily information. Um, you know, it's, uh, the campus has um, you know tutorials and online. Um, learning um, products, and those are updated, you know, every every month or every couple months, depending on um, what's coming down the pike. But in terms of articles, updates, announcements, um, Liz mentioned, you know, job announcements and things like that. Um, and a lot of times, you know, if there's a great conversation happening on the campus, even we'll try to pull people in by posting that information on Facebook as well. So um, if if you're not connected uh, via these places, you know, uh, please please uh, consider doing so. And if you are, just continue to spread the word. I think, um, as Liz said, uh, if we can, you know, continue to stress um, that these resources are here as the hub for all things VISTA, I think um, everyone feels more a part of it. Absolutely. I think Michelle brings up a good point. Um, people often say, you know, do we need a website and all these other places? And I think it goes back to the original question when you ask why are you doing social media. Um, the Vista Campus is there specifically for you and to help with your needs, and it's a great resource, and we certainly hope that you use it as often as possible. We want you to get feedback on what's working for you and what's not working for you, and then you'll have to ask um, individually what's going to work for your project and your organization and the outreach that you have to do. Um, so we're, ho we're hoping that this has helped you guys. We want to know if you either want to raise your hand and talk to us or if you want to put us uh, write us in the chat and let us know how you're using social media now or what specific ways we can help you. We gave you a lot of information. Um, Michelle's going to talk to you about uh, how you can move forward in that if you didn't grasp everything today, there are other opportunities for you to learn the tour. But in the meantime, while she's talking to you, also um, let us know what specific questions you may have in terms of your social media uh, outreach for your particular project, and we'd be happy to help you in the time that we have left. So just while you're thinking about those questions, um, you saw um, this page when we arrived on the campus. Um, as Danielle said, um, lots of opportunities to um, learn more. And also for those of your colleagues who perhaps weren't on the call today, um, you know, there are other opportunities. And, and um, we've got this great feature on the left-hand side of this slide. You see the Vista Events Calendar, and those um, dates that are shaded in there are actually links to events um, in what's going. So, for instance, on the Thursdays, those are all campus tour days, and you can click on those numbers, get more information, and register all on the spot. So um, be sure to take a look at that um, from time to time and see what's going on. That's where um, these Social Media Monday web shops are listed, as well as um, the distribution shades for the viewfinder and other um, events that are open to all of this. I'd like to um, open it up now for your question. I'd be curious to know how you're using 
using social media, uh, what has worked for you all, hasn't, things that you'd like to share with the other um, attendees on the call. If you like Facebook or Twitter or both, uh, let us know what's working, what's not working, and what we can help you with. Appreciate if you can just um, give instructions for call, uh, calling in with questions, and we'll also take questions in the chat feature. One, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to ask a question, please press 1 on your telephone keypad. All right, thank you. Um, we have our first question in the chat, and um, about the resources for putting together a general communications manual. I think this is not. I think um, there are a, a couple ways to do that. Um, I would go back into um, the communications and marketing area of the campus that we explored today and um, download some of those tip sheets and um, PDFs that kind of walk you through. A lot of these are, you know, uh, um, sort of general best practices, tips step by step that then you can apply to your program. Um, depending on what you're communicating, there are also some other resources. Um, there's a, a category there about project planning is also under the work, and that includes um, similar types of um, both and tutorials that you can take to just kind of put in your project planning hat that I think w are also helpful in thinking about how you lay out information um, and how you um, do some knowledge transfer. Um, and then the other place that I would look is um, under uh, um, fundraising, there is a, a a subcategory within there um, that has to do with planning and special events. And again, some of the step-by-step -step, uh, resources that are available there will also help um, in laying out um, a manual. I would say definitely, you know, the resources that we touched on today is a starting point, particularly when it comes to um, improving communication skills, um, you know, communicating with different stakeholders, and also, um, you know, getting to know different communication styles. All of that information is in improving communication skills. Great. We have another question. Um, my department at my host site would like to start a closed Facebook page for our adult volunteer mentors and their youth mentees. Should we make it a page or a person? You should definitely make it a page. You should make the page private, and you should add um, administrators. And the thing that you want to pay uh, the closest attention to is the privacy setting after you go to your Facebook page. Um, when you set up a page and you're going to go to account settings, in account settings it's going to allow you to determine um, your notifications, your passwords, and your privacy, control what information you share. So you want to go into privacy, you want to go into manage, and you want to make sure that only that you do a custom sharing on Facebook. Only the people that you want to see that page can see that page, and you also want to take it out of a search so that you're not searchable. Um, that's the only way to close Facebook. Now, have said that, this is the internet, and um, every once in a while, if if you don't walk your members through how they too can control their privacy, while they won't be able to get to your wall, and then while they won't be able to see any information that you've given them, unless they're well equipped and you're able to walk them through and help them understand how to check their privacy settings, which again in the account section on the right hand side of Facebook, they say something that gets posted that someone else may see. So you and all your members understand very clearly how to choose your privacy setting, and it's not that difficult. It's just a click here, but it does default for everyone to see. Then you have to go in and change the default so that it becomes private. And if not, please just go ahead and call in, and, and we can talk about it. Did you get any questions on the line? Yes, ma'am. You did have a question. They retracted. Oh, okay. okay. Well, thank you. Anyway, um, it looks like a lot of people um, have p Facebook pages and Twitter accounts, um, website. Um, I did get another question. Uh, do we feel Facebook and Twitter have become obsolete and that texting has become the preferred avenue of communication? Interesting you should say that. Group text is hot, hot, hot. 
Um, by group text, there are several applications that are out there where you, you can text anywhere from, I don't know, 50 to 300 people at a time. But um, Facebook with 60 people must probably be un underestimated worldwide and is not going away. Twitter's not going away. Um, the only thing that they're doing is trying, the competition is trying to roll out. What's happening, the big thing with Twitter is that they've actually purchased um, photo sharing, a different, they've actually bought out another company. So you may see things like Twitter being absorbed in, into some of these other organizations, uh, other sites, but they're not going away. Um, and I see someone said that they used uh, Twitter and Facebook to advertise their summer program, which is I, th I think is a great way to use it, a advertisement. It's free advertising for us uh, when we use these sites. Um, I absolutely don't think it's going anywhere. If anything, uh, Facebook is becoming more um, intrusive in our lives, <laughs> and you'll find that as you're moving around the web, you'll be able to like just about everything that you come across. Um, you can go to Pandora and listen to music and find out what the people who are fans of your page like to listen to. So it's getting complicated. It's getting um, user-friendly, I hope. We're actually going to see more from Facebook, and, I'm, and I don't think Twitter as a as a device for quick information is going to be leaving us anytime soon. Um, can you have names of the group tech sites, Danielle? I'm sure you guys are talking. I'll go grab some. Okay. Um, other questions? I see there was one other one in here about... Um, I understand that they utilize YouTube and, and Picasa. I think that's a great. That's great. We keep talking about Flickr, but Picasa is also a great way to um, photo share. As a matter of fact, I was talking to one of workers today about that. <laughs> uh, then we'll move on. Daniel's pulling up some of those um, sites for you. We'll post them in the chat shortly. Um, just a note, a couple things to keep in mind that we always mention. Obviously, the Hatch Act um, does know uh, while you are serving, um, everything that um, is in place offline is, uh, excuse me, true online as well. So that includes restrictions on political activity by government employees um, and um, some state and local agencies. So we just want to make sure that um, you're mindful and um, aware of that as you're posting things um, online. And then, of course, being tasteful and appropriate, you're representing VISTA. Um, and so um, in your role, make sure that uh, you have an account that is meant uh, for that purpose, or you're using your personal account to just be mindful of the things that you are putting out there. And staying safe online, you may have noticed there's a, a piece of this um, about being cautious in the social media guide that we took a look at earlier um, as well in greater detail, but here are just some key points, um, I won't run through them all, but the idea of keeping um, your information in a safe place, being selective about what you choose, um, you know, you have the ability, uh, Danielle was mentioning this um, on settings, but to block or ignore users, and I think that um, it might be something that we don't always take the steps to do, but is definitely um, worth the time to do so. Of course, um, being careful when you're using um, the work account, um, if ever, for personal use. I'm going to interrupt her one second and just say that I found a few of the group texting. Uh, I don't want to endorse any. Uh, <laughs> there's some I like better than others, but the big three will be in your chat right now. And oh, I just noticed that the evaluation is open, so please, while we're wrapping up, um, do give us your feedback. Um, you know, said we do these um, every other month, so six times a year, and we're constantly um, improving as we go. So if there are any specific, um, you know, areas where we can improve, please do let us know. Um, we really appreciate uh, your taking the time to do that. And for people who are on the call, when you when they listen to the archive and they do not see this in the useful links, the group text that I shared, it's group me, Beluga. B E L U G A or text plus. And so those are the three big uh, group te textings. As in our, um, the other links we referenced are on here, and the archive will be available. And um, 
you can have the links to any of the resources that we mentioned and also the specific pages that we took you through. Thank you for joining us today. Um, if it was your first time, we hope to see you again. And um, if not, welcome back. And uh, we really appreciated having you to hope that you've gotten some information you can share with your sites. And please do join us next time. Um, we've been gearing for this one for a while. I'll let Danielle just give a special plug. I am completely obsessed with the visualization. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm so excited about this one. So these are visualization tools making data come alive. And we, we all deal with, with data every day, the statistics from um, on poverty, the statistics on who attended our particular event, the statistics on how many people we're helping with our service project. Uh, and, and instead of presenting them in a black and white pet graph written form, we're going to show you creative ways to share your data um, that are going to be striking and pull at heartstrings and creative and colorful and pretty and or, or shocking, depending upon what message you're trying to get across. And we're hoping that you're going to join us. This is really some fun, cutting-edge stuff that we wanted to share with you all to help you in your presentations and help you gather data. And I <laughs> so plan to join us, um, spread the word, and um, as we mentioned, if you need more information, uh, join us over on the campus uh, in a little bit. Right. We'll continue the conversation over there, and you can also find um, the schedule for what's coming up for our next one and to sign up for visualization tools. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everyone. Thank you, Liz, for being with us today, and um, thanks to everyone for participating. Yeah. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this does conclude bye -bye. today's conference. You may now disconnect.